Hello and uh, welcome to Lime Green Gamer. This is now going to be the insanely shat, bleh, insanely twisted shadow planet. There we go. Bit of a mouthful. Trying a new uh, setup system today as well, so hopefully there'll be less popping, crackling, numbing, mo monologuing, and general dumbness. Slowly getting everything set up again. So um, yeah. So this is the main menu. I find it incredibly well animated so much uh, little details going on in environments would actually help if I turned my main monitor on but there we go more mistakes I mean I do love this menu there seems to be so much going on just uh, double check the settings this is basically a default control layout there is no way to configure it apart from in game which I discovered is basically the quick swap tools standard stuff and one of the best features is definitely the vibration just keeps your controller vibrating best massage going I've seen uh, most of the indie developers have done massage programs and they want you to pay for them and this one offers it for free well apart from you buy the game but there we go so yeah let's get this ball rolling See what I find interesting is compared to the gameplay which you'll see the actual introduction has so much colour to it. Also I uh, find the actual introduction is quite almost like Fantasia there's so much going on a lot of classical music and everything is really you know, emotionally tied to the actual timing as shown. And there we have the most painful way ever to enter a spacecraft. Pew pew lasers. This is basically, I got out of this place and then I had to restart the recording. Go me! So, uh, yeah, and I mean, basically just kind of being introduced to the, I think it's like a gravity ray. Or track the beam, depending on what you want to call it. So here we are to the main game now, and um, like I said, this is as far as I've gone, so here. Destination unknown. There is so much animation going on. Usually, a lot of platformers or even scrollers really kind of limit themselves to one or two planes, but this one seems to be stretching right off into the distance. Hmm, look at it. Interesting atmosphere. Ooh. The silhouette uh, usage has kind of become a craze, especially with um, crazy. Uh, when Nimbo and that was being first announced, a lot of games kind of jumped on the bandwagon, and I'm kind of glad this game's uh, kind of delayed from that because there's a lot more colour towards it now, a lot more depth. 
Interesting, I guess this is a analyzer as well. Fair enough. I can't remember the old retro game, but there was one um, like a moon lander. You always had to d fight the gravity in order to keep um, going, basically. It's kind of similar in controls, except obviously you don't blow up from being slammed, as I just discovered. Uh, fight the power. God damn it. Ow. Ah. Con controls are really quite fluent. I'm guessing this is going to be one of these painful games where the slightest mistake is going to punish you. Except slamming into stuff. Ah, interesting. Even the environment's uh, quite physical. But why? Why is the point of coming in here? So I'm guessing the quick story is spores are bad okay they came to your planet they buggered it up in a less than a few seconds and you're basically trying to fight back short and sweet whoa interesting Hey, lasers. Now I feel like a real UFO. So why didn't he come to help earlier? I'm confused. I'm going down. See, it kind of does have that uh, really strong limbo vibe because everything is based in silhouettes and is you're all basically reacting to shapes. The subconscious can naturally interpret different shapes differently compared. I mean, a better, better way to clarify it is if you know ink blots. You know what what I might class as hazardous, that someone else might class as safe, and it's just constant play and trying to learn what is safe and what is not. As just shown here, I mean, suddenly the these red orbs are suddenly attacking. <laughs> and they expand. Giant evil balloons. Oh, congratulations, ship. Ten points. Hmm, let's go this way. Echo the Dolphin, that was it. It's also got this kind of Echo the Dolphin um, kind of exploration going. It, it's, it feels like an open world, but you're trying to reach a certain objective, and it's a lot of trial and error. Whoa. Yay. Let's do the time warp again. I don't know what it does, but fair enough. Ah, groping action. Nom 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 nom. I guess I'm not going that way now. Whoa. Stupid thing. Oh well, I survived. Rawr. My luck. Fair enough. Thank you. Leave no evidence. Whoop whoop. What the hell's a whoop whoop? Oh, 
Ha ha ha. Whoa, too fast. Strange. I guess and my brightness is going to make this game a lot harder again. Pure black in a silhouette based game is just asking for death. Oh, I'll find my laser eventually. Ow. Tentacle. I want to touch it. Ah, ah. <laughs> See, I'm gonna admit, on my first quick go, I managed to find a collectible, and now I haven't, so I feel quite sad inside. Pew, 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 pew. There will be no witnesses. Destination. Whoa. Don't touch me. Oh, bad place to be. God, those enemies are like those annoying purple things from um, Geometry Wars. Aha. Nom 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 nom. Wait, what? Did we escape that planet? Now we're suddenly going back. I'm confused. Ugh. Well, I got an achievement. It was worth it. Suicide mission, go! Ooh, Avatar. I love Avatar rewards. Oh, that was only a shirt, though. Ah, too many buttons, what's going on? Wow, I've got a lot of crap in here. Ah. There we go, that looks weird and slightly funky if my dashboard wasn't constantly crashing wish Microsoft would make something that actually functioned without killing itself okay that is beautifully animated ah uh, and now it's dead whoa
I'm guessing I'm looking for something to force feed that worm. Green? Get a wrong colour scheme. Unless you're what I meant to feed it. Whoa. Let's find out. No, I'm not. I'm not. I bring gifts. Yep, guess so. Oh, he doesn't want the rock. Take the rock. Take it. I'm not even sure if I'm meant to be killing them. This is what Call of Duty's done to me, man. Talking about that, I've been playing Bad Company 2 a lot. That game has serious issues with spawn locking. Ended up joining a game where um, there were four tanks, the entire enemy squad, and two choppers basically on our spawn. Ow. That was stupid of me. Okay. You're a collectible. Why can't I get this gunk off me? Better laser, this pew 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 slow motion stuff. Okay, where the hell am I going? I am loving the open endedness to this game. I mean, I'm kind of just going with the flow. I'm not really thinking about where I'm going. Hey, finally an upgrade. Ooh, that's a lot better. Ah, no touching. That is not a nice place to be. It's interesting there's no difficulty setting, so I'm guessing this game, seeing this is only the first proper level, is going to ramp up pretty difficult. And balls. Fair enough. That looks like a boss. I can move these rocks, but I can't move the rocks to the place secret area. Unless the idea is you're meant to come back. Because there is that way I missed at the start as well. Whoa. Well, there we go. They're not even solid. 
You learn something new every day. Even some of the background music with the quite low tone is really kind of um, foreboding, like Limbo played. Probably being harsh, constantly comparing it to Limbo, but it's one of those games that just burns such a powerful image into my mind. Hopefully I can take three hits now, so... Ow. Okay. Ah, there is a map system. Thank... Whoa. That is... Intense. So I'm guessing I'm meant to go there. Ah, leave me alone. I know I can see why I got a ship upgrade. Whoa, creepy little buggers. Ah. Slightly worth it. Still painful as hell. Fifteen percent, but campaign completion of sixteen. So I wonder if it's um, a persistent world there, no loading, everything happens within this kind of overworld. Ah, that's what they are, health pods, and they regenerate. So that would also explain the enemy regeneration, because obviously they want to keep the challenge persistent in the world. I bring candy. Candy. I knew I should have bought one of those rocks. Too many buttons. Okay. Aha! Your plan is foiled. Eh. Eh. Why would you die? Didn't know you could do that. That would have probably been the easier thing. Fair enough. That's 
big. And they're huge. Sharp aim in this game if you wish to survive. Right now, I officially do not know where I'm going. Wow, that's different. But I don't have that ability yet, so fair enough. And whim saving. Suck it. Whoa, why are you? Ah, clusters. Back to get that collectible, hopefully. Whoa, what the hell? I just got molested by a giant spider. And again. Why <laughs> won't you leave me alone? Third time unlucky. So what does this do? Shield. Awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Guess I'm gonna attempt to collect all these before I engage the big bad boys.
Uh, he completely misused that shield. Yep, completely. Shield is bad. I think I was doing better just evading. <laughs> Curious time. Luckily, there's nothing there for dying. I can't remember what game it was, but all I remember was getting to the very end without dying, and then just one stupid little battery error. Because my controller ran out, and I basically stood there and died. for these big ones then. I guess that's stupid to hold a quest of mine. But knowing it's half the battle. They still have weight as well to push you down. So I'm kind of curious what the actual main applications of the shield is. Yeah, I can push stuff. Wow. Yeah, see, he can still grab me. See and not give me enough force to do what I need to do though. Nope. Yeah, I don't have that ability yet. At least it tells you you could spend hours trying to do something you're not intended to do. Ooh, that hurt. and that's the creation of uh, what I'm going to call the inks. <laughs> they probably got a real name, I just don't know it. In fact, I don't even know where I'm going now, so I'm kind of just going with the flow. I'm going to get myself killed because of a giant rock. Can't get over there, so I guess I best just go to the beep. Ah, you buggering noodle. Where's my arm? Why ain't it switching? 
Oh yeah, B, 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 B. There we go. See, I pressed B about 15 times then, but it wouldn't work. Fine slap. What is this thing doing? Of course, then he damages me. He just won't die. There we go. Spike, don't want to spike. Die. Ah, okay, I guess the first one must have counted because otherwise it would only had one. Interesting uh, concept going on with the light and dark again. Kind of overused, but they are doing it quite effectively. Thing is, I can't really say something funny about the planet being consumed by little ink blocks. you rock That's the room I'm meant to go in, but I would rather grab that artifact before I get whisked away against my will. do anything again. Why does it with those rocks? Ow. Slow camera.
Okay, so I'm now officially backtracking. So the environments have got to change then as you progress as well. Well, that was kind of evident with the giant spider, but I mean, the rest of the environment is changing with you. Time to go into the spiky room of death. I see you. Whoa. Ow. Little ones first, then focus on where the hell the rest are. Very bad place to be. way ha ha glowing rocks strange They are vicious and they like bright bluey stuff. buggers stay away the power of Christ compels you
oh, okay. But I bet if I touched that water, I would instantly disintegrate. It's biased, man. Biased, I tell you. I do like the challenge though, there is quite a considerable challenge in trying to get upgrades and not just blatantly hand it out to you. My only hope is they're bloody worth it. Ah, stop it. They don't always die from impacts. Oh, come on. I wish I knew that before I came to this side. Now I have to use it. God damn order. I knew what I needed to do, I just had to do it in specific order. Screw you flame, eat the rock, eat the rock. Yeah. Hey back. if this allows me to get through those bloody rock formations now. Yeah! And the saddest thing is, this has more destruction than Red Faction. <laughs>
Wow, I've been playing for 51 minutes and I normally try and confide these to um, 30 minutes. I'm really enjoying this game, highly recommend it. As you can see, it's going to be an incredibly time consuming game. I'm wondering if this is just a, a level, or if it is all the levels. I'll have to find a checkpoint first. Well, thanks very much for watching. Um, hopefully, this is going to come through. I've changed a lot of systems rather than just a straight recording. I am now using Sony Vegas. My hard drives are sorted, Windows is sorted, the all the wires are in the correct positions, and hopefully. Something good will come of this, so thanks very much, and hopefully I'll be back in a few days.